and hello YouTube, this is GS Mouse and I'm going to do another brand new video for tutorials with GS. Now today I'm going to be showing you a, good, a really good tutorial on how to improve your voice, how to improve your singing, how to improve any of your vocals. It's, it's mainly for singing vocals because a lot of these effects are going to give you a nice echo, a nice sort of studio sounding microphone almost, and it's, these are some nice tricks and some really cool things you could do to your voice that can make it sound a lot better. And now this works a lot for some low-end microphones. If you have, a, if you're using like your laptop microphone or if you're using a microphone that isn't that great, that isn't studio quality, these are some things that you could do that could really improve your voice. Now it's it's not going to make your voice sound you know like <laughs> I'm an amazing singer, but it is going to improve the mic quality of your recording. And you you could do these for even for commentaries, um, but there are some things that you may not want to do for commentaries, and I'll definitely point those out. But um, let me go ahead and show you. Um, God, I'm using um so much. I hate I hate using the word um so much. Let me show you uh, a recording that I have here that has no effects whatsoever. This is basically just a regular recording without any effects on it at all and this is actually a song that I uploaded to YouTube on my music channel that I recorded and let's go and take a listen to it without the instrumental so actually with the instrumental this is by the way this is not afraid by Eminem and let's go ahead and listen with the instrumental real quick road, and I just can't keep living this way so we'll start in today I'm breaking out of this cage my decision to get clean I did it for me admittedly I probably did it subliminally all right now we listen to without instrumentals <clears> oh <throat> and I just can't keep living this way so who's starting today it was my decision to get clean I did it for me admittedly I probably did it subliminally now generally speaking the recording doesn't sound bad I mean it's it's clear it's you can understand it, not much background noise. It sounds pretty good, but th there's ways you can make it a lot better. Now, if, if you don't have, I have a somewhat decent mic. It's not the best mic, it's somewhat decent. But if I wanted to make this track better, and you know, if you have a worse mic than I do, then these are some tricks you can do to make your voice sound a lot better. Now, first of all, one thing you want to avoid is, as you can see, a lot, a lot of parts of this track, they have a lot of up and down uh, movements. Everything is not very equal at all. So you, you want to try to make the track equal. You want to have all these bars line up. You don't want to have some really high, some really low, because it doesn't sound that great. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight the whole track just by clicking the area here, anywhere here. It's gonna highlight everything. I'm gonna go up to effects, and we're going to go to hard limiter. Now the setting you want to change is this one right here, the dB. Now as a rule of thumb, you generally want to go negative 7, negative 8, negative 9. Either one of those three. Now, I usually go negative 8 because it's right in the middle. And what this will do, these two settings you can keep the same. And you click OK. Now, what this will do, it'll, it'll, it'll make all of your, you make your whole track basically line up so that there are no parts where something sounds really loud, no parts where something sounds really low. It basically equalizes it out. Now, we listen to this again. Down the same road, and I just can't keep living this way. All right. Decision to get clean. I did it for me. Admittedly, I probably did it. Not that much of a difference. We, we can tell that we can tell that the uh, the sound has decreased in volume a bit, and we don't have you know th this inconsistency in volume. So now that we have it pretty consistent, we want to do is we make it a little bit louder. So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to Amplify. Now, Amplify, generally, once again speaking, a rule of thumb, you never want to go a high number that won't let you click the OK button because that means clipping is going to be involved, and clipping will make it sound like you're screaming into your mic and it'll make it sound really bad. So, <clears throat> generally speaking, if we go 10, it's not going to work, right? The, the OK button's grayed out. If we go 9, it's not going to work. OK button's grayed out. If we go 8, we can press the OK button. That's the maximum. We don't want to go maximum. We don't. We don't want to overdo it. So, I like to go at least two down. Two down from the maximum, which is going to be six. 
And as you can see, this is going to amplify our whole track. And as you can see, everything is still pretty equal. Everything is still pretty equalized, and we don't have any high points and major low points. If we listen to it now. Down the same road, and I just can't keep living this way. My decision to get clean, I did it for me, admittedly. So, it sounds pretty good. Now, some other things you can do is to, to make it sound like, so, almost like a studio mic, we're going to add a little echo here. Now, for the echo, you would generally want to have a 0 0.1, I mean, yeah, 0 0.1 and 0 0.1. Now, you can play out these settings, and some of these settings will make you have more echoes, a longer delay. I know that if you do a decay factor, you'll have um, more echoes. If you do delay time, the echo will come you'll at a later, at a, at a, at a later time. Sorry about that, some words I'll jump it up. At a later time. So you can definitely play around these settings and you can get the echo effect you want. Just don't put any really huge numbers because if you put any huge numbers, it's going to start getting pretty wacky. So generally want to stick with low numbers. 0 0.1, 0 0.1 generally is really good unless you're looking for like a real echo effect. Like if the song you're singing, you want to have a distinct echo. It's like maybe like half a second late then obviously. The delay, not the delay, but the uh, delay time would be, you know, half a second, 0 0.5. But for for general purposes, you want 0 0.1, 0 0.1. Oops, I accidentally canceled it because I pressed the space bar. Let's try it again. Now this is gonna take some. This is gonna take a while, but it shouldn't take too long. In fact, I probably gonna cut, cut this part out so give me a second guys all right so the uh, the effect has completed and now we'll take a listen to this on the same road and I just can't keep living this way so who's starting today it was my decision to get clean I did it for me admittedly I probably did it subliminally so there you go now we have now we have a slight echo it makes it sound really good it makes it actually sound where we, we have there's somewhat of a professional microphone. Like if you listen to the artists nowadays, they have this slight, very slight echo in their voice that you know it makes it sound really studio-like. So and some people may not like the echo. It's your it's your decision. You don't have to put the echo if you don't want to put the echo. But it, it's it's good to have like a tiny small. Echo. I mean, even on radio, even on radio shows that you listen to, they, there's there's a small, slight echo just to like. You enhance that voice quality, I guess. So, but for for most cover songs, you want to have it because it makes your it makes your voice sound good. Especially if you're running on a low end mic, it'll make it sound like your mic isn't that bad. Now, one of the last effects you want to use, and this is one of most one of the uh, more complicated ones, is G verb. This will be at the bottom of your effects um, panel and well menu. Now, um, pay attention pay attention to these settings because. I had to create these settings on my own, basically. Um, the settings Audacity gives you are really terrible. If you press a re uh, if you press a G verb, it will give you these settings that are just all over the place. It'll make it sound really bad. So, for room size, you want to have 40.0. For the reverb time, you want to have 4.0. And then for the next one, you want to have 0.75. For the input, also 0.75. For the dry signal level, you want to have zero. For the early reflection le reflection level, negative 29, and for the tail level, negative 36. Now, one thing I will say is that once you um, have these settings down, this is generally the base you want to have. This is your main starting level. After this, you can play around the settings a little bit. Uh, I wouldn't stray too far away from these settings because these are these are generally the basic settings that you would put on any track. But if you wanted to like, you know, fool around with some of the settings, you could move these up, down, up and down, maybe a few numbers. Um, the one I usually mess around with a lot is this last one here, the tail level, because it'll really work with your voice. It'll really work with the how the echoes bounce back in the recording. So if anything, play around with the tail level a lot. But if you want to play around with these other settings, you can. Just don't stray away too far from from these settings right here because you could end up messing it up a bit but let's go ahead and put this effect on and this effect is actually not too long pretty quickly now we listen to it down the same road and i just can't keep living this way 
So what Jeever basically did there made it sound like we're we, we, we are talking in a room, like we're singing in a room where the echoes slightly bounce back at us. It's a really powerful tool, a really powerful effect that can make it sound like even more that you're singing into a studio microphone. So now we take a listen to, to the, to, to the uh, track with the song actually. And I just can't keep living this way So who's we'll starting today? I'm breaking out of this cage It was my decision to get clean I did it for me Admittedly, I probably did it subliminally for you So I could come back a brand new me You helped see me through and Sounds a lot better from the original version If we go back to the original version Which was this Same road And I Oops And I just can't keep living this way. Decision to get clean. I did it for me. Admittedly, I probably did a sublim. You know, it sounds fine, but once we once we get those echoes in there, once we get that G verb in there, once we get the equalization in there and the amplification. And I just can't keep living this way. Decision to get clean. I did it for me. Admittedly, I probably did a sublim. I think it sounds a lot better. Um, you know, depending on your microphone, it'll it'll depend on how much better it'll sound. You know, maybe some people may not like the echo effects. You don't need to have the echo effect. The G verb effect, the G verb effect, I think, is very powerful. Uh, you can intensify. You could um, lower it. You know, to your liking. As I said, all these settings you can play around with, but don't stray away from the bass thing. Like for the echo, don't stray away putting huge numbers in because it's gonna sound really weird. Or don't stray away putting you know super small like minuscule numbers because you won't notice the difference. With a G verb, you don't want to stray away too far from the bass settings that I showed you. And with amplification, you really don't want to put super high or super low. You kind of want to only increase it enough so you don't have any clipping. Same with the um, hard limiter. You don't want to put it too low because you're really gonna lower the volume of everything to such a low point where when you amplify, it's gonna sound really bad. But other than that, these four tools are really good to use once again as a review first thing we want to do is hard limit which is down here remember we want to set this to 7 8 or 9 and then after that we want to go to amplify and we want to make sure that there's no clipping and you generally want to go one or two away from the maximum that you can go without clipping after that we want to add an echo that is around 0 0.1, 0 0.1, and if you want to have a different setting, you can play around with those, maybe 0 0.5 or so. And lastly, want to work with G verb, and the base things are here once again, and you can change them slightly and tweak them, you know, especially this last one right here, which is the tail level. But other than that, that's basically how you do it, and how to make your sound, how to make your voice sound a little better. And you know, as I said, you can use it for commentaries, for voiceovers, and it's definitely really good to use for any covers you do, any singing tracks. But this is basically it. And I hope that it's really helped you guys. I hope that it's, you know, sort of made your voice sound a little better. Because I know a lot of us don't have, like, you know, fancy microphones. So this is generally a few tips that you can use to make your voice sound better if you don't have, like, one of these amazing microphones like, you know, some of the big YouTubers have. So, you know, we can also try to get a good voice even with sucky microphones. Thank you for watching and I hope this video helped you out in any way. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, it'll really help me out. If you didn't like it, you can leave a comment as well, giving some feedback. If you have any other comments or questions, please leave them in the comments as well and I'll do my best to answer them. I usually respond to comments within 24 to 48 hours depending on your question and depending on how busy I am. I have plenty of other content on my channel about different software tutorials and how-to videos, so if you're interested in that type of stuff, check it out and if you like what you're seeing, you can subscribe too, really appreciate it. You can also check out my other channels and social media as shown on the screen right now. And with that, thank you so much everyone, and this is GS Man Smart, and I'll be back sooner than you think. Don't go anywhere.